turn your flashback triple delay into a drone machine. So lately, I've been working with my flashback triple delay, looking for ways that I can use it to create a drone, you know, underlying ambient drone, and at the same time leveraging the three delays to provide delays that go well with an ambient lead line on top of the drone. So got something I'd like to show you here in terms of techniques for how to do just that. So let's get to work. First off, um, I'm playing a PRS baritone guitar. If you've been hanging out here, you know I love baritones. You can do the same thing though with a standard electric guitar. Let's go to the pedals. On the floor, first up, I've got a compressor in my case. As always, I'm using my Wampler Ego compressor. Here's my clean tone without the compressor. Okay, just a clean Fenderish tone. Let me go ahead and add that compressor in. Okay, and as always, I'm using the compressor to squash the dynamics and provide a little more sustain to the clean tone. Next up in the signal chain is the Strymon Sunset, and I'm using it just to get a little bit of crunch of dirt into the signal. If you don't have a Sunset, no worries. Just use an overdrive pedal. It'll be cool. Here's what it sounds like. Okay, just, just a little bit of crunch. If you do have a second pedal or the sunset, you may want to dial it up for more of a lead tone. And you'll see why in a few minutes, okay? So a little crunch for, uh, for I'll call it rhythm or the drone, and then a little bit of lead for your ambient leads. Next up, of course, I've got a uh, volume pedal, in my case, a Morley Little Alligator. And of course, last in the chain is the TC Electronic Flashback Triple Delay. It is important to note that I've got this uh, rigged so that I'm actually running in stereo. I'm using an amp modeler with a stereo effects loop, so that's cool. If you've got two amps, uh, you can get a similar type of effect. If you don't have stereo, just run it in mono. It'll be cool. All right, so let's check out the delays here. I'm actually going to start with delay two, and let's listen to that. I've got my lead tone dialed up, and let's see what we get. <laughs> Okay, so that's probably about 80 beats per minute in terms of the delay time. And the delay type is the ping pong delay, as you can hear. It's going to ping pong between right and left. All right, that's delay number two. Delay number three is this. All right, that is the tape type delay. So it's a lot me mellower, more kind of muffled sounding. It's even got a little bit of dirt and grunge in it as it fades out. Okay, pretty cool. And also I should note, It's got the dotted eighth thing going, okay? So that dotted eighth pattern going on. And because I'm running in stereo, stereo, it does ping pong back and forth. Now, if I run delay two and three together, I've got the flashback triple delay in series. So delay two is gonna feed into delay three. Pretty nice. Now, you're thinking to yourself, okay, Bill, you said there was a drone coming along. What's up with that? Well, that's delay one. So let's check that out. 
The way I've got Delay 1 set up is I'm using the 2290 modulating delay. So 2290 mod, so it's a very clean sounding delay with a little bit of modulation. I've got it set to about a three second delay, kind of give or take, you can figure that out. And I've got the repeats turned all the way up and I've got the level turned all the way up. Okay, and one of the cool things about the flashback triple delay is even if you have the repeats turned all the way up, it doesn't go into crazy overload. It just repeats for a long, long, long time. And that's how I'm going to get the, uh, the drone. So uh, let's check that out. I'm just going to play a low B here on the baritone, and I'm going to swell it in with a volume pedal, and let's hear what it sounds like. Now let me add in a another note. All right, that is literally going to go for minutes and minutes. It's going to decay out a little bit, kind of degrade some, but because it's the 2290 modulating delay, it actually stays pretty consistent throughout the lifespan of the delay. Now, I want to show you another trick. Watch what happens when I turn off delay one. The delay keeps going. <laughs> Trick. Uh, what I did was I opened up my flashback triple delay and turned off true bypass. I turned it on to buffered bypass. I'll show you a picture here. And what you'll want to do for this, uh, this technique is, is the same thing. It's pretty cool. This allows you to turn your delays on and off and have them continue to repeat. The actual delay repeats will continue going even as the delay is off. So right now I've got my drone going and I can turn my other delays on. And you'll hear, because I've got the delays running in series, that now my drone is going through delay two and delay three. And now I can play some lead lines. I'm going to use my Ebo. Um, again, if you don't have an Ebo, you probably don't. You can just keep that lead tone dialed up and play some leads. But let me go ahead and play the Ebo here and uh, check this out. Oh yeah. So I have to tell you, I, I've gotten these drones going and just played lead lines for 15, 20 minutes, half an hour at a time. You, it's really a lot of fun and it's very inspiring to play against. And if you feel like your drone needs a little juice in the middle of your session, all you have to do is turn on delay one and add in a little note for a sec. And then turn delay one back off, and now you've added another layer to your drone, and it will continue and continue and continue a you. If you haven't already subscribed to Chords of Orion, please do so and hit that bell notification. I've got ambient guitar-related content coming each and every week, and I would love to have you on board. Also, if you're interested, I've got Amazon affiliate links to all the equipment used in this video in the description below. 
And as always, I'll see all of you on the next video.